This is a small global mission church plant in an area of western Kenya called Mikiria. The members are waiting for the church planter, Henry, to come so that they can have a prayer meeting. Henry has worked in this area for five years, and when he started, there wasn't a single member among the 11,000 people who live there. Now, this small group is home to more than 15 members and welcomes many visitors. <laughs> A lay member leads out in the Bible study, and the members are eager to learn more of the gospel message that they have come to love. Their worn Bibles show the extent of their studying God's Word. Suddenly, the winds pick up and a steady rain starts to fall. The members are quick to grab their chairs and head into the tin shelter that serves as their church. By the light of a single doorway, they continue their Bible study. As the rain turns into a downpour, the members sing to drown out the raindrops hitting the tin roof, but the roof seems to win the battle. As the day fades to the end, Henry stands in the doorway of the small church and continues the Bible study with a few young men. His passion is evident as he shares the wisdom that comes from being a global mission pioneer for more than nine years. Just as the rain washes the earth, the love of Jesus creates clean hearts in people all over the world. People who wouldn't have heard about Jesus' saving grace if it hadn't been for global mission pioneers, just like Henry. Thank you for your support of Global Mission's frontline work.